Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to talk about the basics of solid filler edges and solid blend edges. Okay, let's start. These two commands icons are part under the solid tools toolbars. To execute these commands, simply click on this icon. Okay. Left clicking on it will execute the filler edges, whereas right clicking on this icon will execute the blend edges. Because these commands are part under the solid tools, we will naturally assume that they will only work with solids or closed poly surfaces. However, this is not the case. We just need to have the surfaces pertaining to the fillers or blends to be performed. To be joined for the command to work. Okay, let me illustrate this point by um, doing a demo over here. Okay, basically, I would like to create a solid fillet on this edge. And to do that, I simply have to join these two adjacent surfaces. Okay, so I can click on the join, join this and this, enter, and if I were to move this to one side, you will notice that this object itself is not a solid, okay? It's hollow. But this will not prevent us from performing a solid filler over here, which I'm going to demo now. Okay, if I'm going to click on this icon, it will execute the filler edges and clicking on this edge and pressing enter. Enter one more time. You notice that I'm able to run the command perfectly. Okay, so we don't really need the object to be made solid in order for the command to work. I'm going to press the undo to get back to the original state of this model. Okay, now let me join this model to make it into a solid. Okay, analyze mass property volume. Okay, now we got volume. So this model will definitely be able to have the fillet or solid blend edges in perform here. Okay. Um now I would like to draw a bit deeper into the options within these commands. Okay. I'm going to click on the icon again to execute the fillet edges and you notice that we got uh, this next radius, this is the most important uh, option to set. Basically, this option should be set before we uh, proceed to select the edge to be filleted or blended. Okay, so I can click on this and let's set it to, let's say, 6, enter, and then you can proceed to click on the edge, press enter. Okay, and if you would like to add um, variable fillers or blends, you can click on the add handle to add more um, location with different values. Okay, so let me do a demo. Let's say I want to a different value over here. I can click the add handle and you can click on the current radius to change it to the next uh, value. So let's say I want that to be, let's say five, enter, and click on here, and you notice that the value is five. And let's say I want another one here, and the value is also five, okay? You can change the value by clicking on the value dot. Okay, let's say I click on this, and drag okay, for a interactive change of the value or you can also type a new value using the keyboard let's say i want this to be 4. Okay. I keep, i'm typing 4.5 now and you notice that yep um the value has been updated to 4.5 and if i would like to change the location with that particular value i can click on this this dot here and then drag the handle to a different location. Let's say I put it here. Okay. Um, once you are happy with the result, you can press enter. 
to a skill command. Okay. Okay, now I would like to show the differences between fillet edges and blend edges. For that, let me undo the last command and make a duplicate of this model. Okay. And I'm going to do a fillet edge here and a blend edge over here to demonstrate the differences. Basically, the differences are in terms of the surface continuity transitions of the result. Okay. In the case of the fillet edge, the transition continuity is set to tangency, whereas in the case of the blend edge, the surface transition continuity is set to curvature. Okay, so let me demo uh, this. Okay, I'm going to click on it. Here, I'm running the filler edge for this. Okay, enter. And over here, I would like to execute the blend edges. I'm going to do a right mouse click to execute the blend edges. You can see blend edges. Click this. Enter. Okay, now see the results. Let's turn on the zebra. We go to analyze surface zebra. If you are not familiar with surface continuity principles and their uh, methods of analysis using zebra, you might want to click on this label over here to go to a video that talks about it. And you can see over here, our result is clearly tangency or G1 because there is a sudden change of the flow of the zebra stripes. Okay. Whereas over here, we have nice flow with no sudden change of direction, denoting a G2 or curvature transition. Hence, you can see from here that the blend edges is giving a superior and smoother result, okay, compared to that of the filler edges. With that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.